This is a short instructional video explaining how to place and find digital components within the multi-SIM schematic capture software made by National Instruments. There are quite a few ways to do this and we're going to specifically deal with digital components and the first way is the most straightforward and what everybody is used to, I'm going to go to the place menu, pull that down, and select the component. Now, since we're interested in digital components, I'm going to go to the group, pull down, I'm going to select TTL, and in our stock we have a lot of 74 LS series ICs, so I'm going to select the 74 LS series IC, I'm going to go into the component, level and select a hex inverter which is a 74 LSO4 part number. And after I click OK, uh, another interesting uh, placement here, this is a hex inverter which means it has six logic gates and each of the gates is given a designator A, B, C, D, E, F. When I go to place this, the first one I'm going to hit A when I go to place the second gate, I want to make sure that I exhaust all the gates within the one IC. If I would select up here in the new, it would put a new IC down. So make sure you're selecting the B from the existing IC. And we're going to place three of these gates. I'm going to close that out. Also, uh, it's very helpful for students that are just learning when the pin numbers of the ICs are there and they aren't normally showing by default. If you go into the options, pull down and you go to sheet properties, you can see I have checked footprint pin names. I'll uncheck that and click apply and you'll notice that the pin numbers go away. I'm going to put that back in. Okay, just something that might be helpful as you go along. Another way to add parts to the window is the little buttons underneath the menus. Most people say that if you learn these buttons pretty well, this is the major used features of the software. So if I go to TTL button and I click on TTL, you'll notice I'll come up with the exact same window. Now, that works out pretty well, except for one thing. Uh, when you go to search for your part in this manner, you have to know the exact part number and the function. Like, I would have to know that the 74 LSO4 was the hex inverter. And that's probably not the way people search for something. They have the function first, then they try and find the part number. And if we want to keep you from running to get the data sheets for the ICs, uh, we are going to show you another way, which I think is probably the most useful way to do it. I'm going back to the place menu and component, and just imagine that I want to find a two input AND gate. I'm going to come over here to the search button. I'm going to click on that function, and it's going to bring up a, a component search window. I already know that I'm going to look in the 74 LS family and by the way don't pick the 74 LSIC instead of giving you the logic gate footprint when you drop it on there it's going to give you the IC outline footprint and technicians don't need that we usually just do that when we're working with younger people that uh, need to hook and know the pin numbers and not directly so I'm going to pick the 74 LS family and the function that I mentioned is a two input and, and I'm going to click that in, I'm going to type that in the search box. And if I click on the search function, you'll notice that it will give me all the components that match that. There's a 74 LS08 and a 74 LS09. The 09 is an open collector, so we're going to pick the 08. I'm going to click OK, come back to our window, but it has our two input AND gates selected. And if I click OK at this point, once again we have 
four two input AND gates on this IC. I drop one in. I'm going to make sure I still use the same IC, but the second gate. I drop the second in, and you get the idea behind that. Just to make sure we uh, see that that works for everything, I'm going to click search again. Once again, I'm going to go into the 74 LS family, and this time I'm going to look for a function, JK flip flop. So I'm just going to type JK and search and you'll notice that it comes up with a whole list of flip-flops. Usually the lower part numbers are the more common devices, so I'm going to select the 74LS76. Click OK. Click OK on the window. Drop Section A down on the sheet. And I'm going to close this out. That's a great way if you don't know the part numbers, which most people don't, to be able to find your component by function and put it on the screen. And that works very well. The last thing that I want to show you is something that's used in common to make things look pretty nice. If I go back to the place menu and I go to connectors and I go to on page connector, I'm going to drop one of these on the screen and I'm going to call it A for input A. To make a real nice input connector. The other thing I like to do is select that and use the control R key function to rotate so that the input is facing on the left hand side and moving towards the right as I go. And once I have that input set up, I can easily take it and hook it right to the input of a gate and things look pretty nice. I'm going to delete that connection. The other shortcut that I'll show you is if I select that and I hit Control C to copy that and I click down here a little bit lower and hit Control V to paste and I'm going to just click down again and do another paste. It's a very quick way to get the part exactly like I have it arranged onto the screen very quickly. And I'm going to rename these um, input B and input C. Very easy way to do this. And also I'm going to come to the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to do a control V to paste an output connector. This time I'm going to hit Control R a couple times so it faces around and looks like an output. I'm going to move this up a little bit, change the name to out, and connect that to the output of an IC. In summary, we showed you a couple different ways to place components, digital components, on the schematic screen of multi-SIM. One particular way that I find very useful is to use the search function to search for the function itself, such as a two input AND gate or a JK flip-flop, and that saves me from having to go search for the part numbers.